I'm expecting him to come down here first. I hope this little tower will hold up for the seventh day horde. I think it will. If it doesn't, <laughs> we're in trouble. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snowbomb Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. As long as you're all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map. It's made up almost entirely of the snow biome. Uh, generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Look at all the food in here. Awesome. Okay, we're going to buy up a bunch of that stuff. Um, it is 12.30... Uh, ish and it's also a horde night too it's day seven uh so i spent uh i, I came back over overnight it was slow going and kind of scary but we made it back without any issues i went uh, back into the base did some inventory management made some bacon and eggs and then i went out and i dug out some clay a little bit of coal some iron and um a little bit more snow and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get uh stuff feeding into the forge here so we can start making Excuse me, so we can start making iron uh, bars, uh, ingots, rather. Um, so I'm actually going to keep a little bit of this for cobble. Okay. All right, so let's get that going. <clears throat> um, we need to do our turn in, so let's do that next. Are you surprised, surprised? Ooh, a steel spear. Wow. That's actually a pretty nice now. gift at this point go. in our playthrough. Um, boy, that's tempting. Of course, three antibiotics wouldn't be bad either. But, I mean, we've got honey and we, ha we have one antibiotic. So, yeah, let's take the steel spear. That's actually not a bad, uh, not a bad little gift. All right, what's your next job? Um, I want to do something a little closer this time. we got to fetch... Uh, that's 437 meters away. I don't want to do a buried supply, so yeah. I don't trust you. A gas station. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do that next. We're not going to do that waiting. today, though, because we got Horde Night coming up. All right, let's uh, read this, too. And that will be on our to do list. Uh, no, we want to go here, and we want to go here, and we want to go show on map. Uh, okay, so that's not too terribly far away from us. We had another airdrop that that landed way far away from us so I, I figured it was kind of maybe in this area if we ever back down that way and then I also put an X for the one that we never did find it's still somewhere in this area over here so okay so we got that done let me um I want to do a couple of things I want to make some iron arrowheads how many can we make 135 no let's make let's make about 50 of those and then I want to make um, ingots, or forged iron, rather. So we can make some repair kits and, uh, and some other things. And while we're waiting for the arrowheads, I want to buy food and coffee. Actually, you know what? Before we go batshit crazy on that, what does he have for sale? So he restocks on day 10, it's day 7. So he has reset. So let's just take a quick look and see what he's got. Pistol Pete, you are more accurate when rapid firing 9mm weapons, okay. Um, that would be nice to have, but it's not, I don't, I wouldn't say that's a priority right now. It's a nice hunting rifle. What does he have here? Okay, we do need some chest armor, and that is a steel piece of chest armor, which is pretty damn good. Um, I think we're going to get that, actually. Here, let's make sure he doesn't have anything else. He's got steel gloves, but those are way too expensive. Yeah, let's buy this. And now we have the uh, ability to do a full set of heavy armor, which we will do when we get back to the base. We're going to be slower now, we're going to be more noisy, but, you know, we have firepower now, so... I'm not as concerned about that as we as I was before. What else do you have? Lucky Looter Volume 4. Find more lead and loot. That is not useful. <laughs> not useful. Oh, you got a double barrel shoddy. We could have bought that, but uh, we don't have enough money now. That would have been nice. But, you know, we're going to find a shotgun sooner or later. 
Um, oh, this. This we're going to buy. Because I can't make one. I don't have the thing that I need for it. And that's going to help us smelt things much faster. Okay. Good luck with that. All right. So let's put that in here. Uh, turn that off. And hopefully we'll come across an anv anvil pretty soon, too. Excellent. Okay. Let's grab those and let's get our 50 crossbow bolts uh, going. And we're going to just scrap these stone ones that I've been using. All right. Now let's spend the rest of our money on food here. So he doesn't have any chili, uh, but we're buying the coffee. You know, it help keep us warm, of course. Um, so let's buy that. And salmon. We have How much coin? We have 134 left. Um, probably, see, this gives us five max stamina and ten water. That gives us ten max stamina and five health. I think I will go for that. And we can still buy, well, we can still buy both of these. How about that? Let's do it. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, what we're going to do is go back to the base. I'm going to do a little bit of inventory management. I'm going to get outfitted in my heavy armor. And did we just level? We did just level. Look at that. Look at that. All right, what are we going to do? Um, I think what we want to do, I think we've taken the first point in all of the essential stuff. Uh, or most of the essential stuff. We got the, we haven't taken a point in boomstick, but we don't have a boomstick yet. So we've taken that one. Uh, healing factor wouldn't be a bad uh, idea. We can't do well insulated until we get fortitude up to three. Um, and I'm planning on taking that up, you know, probably at least two more points when it's all said and done. Uh, in agility... Oh, archery. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Okay. We wanted to take the archery point because we are using... I am using my crossbow a fair amount now. I also dug this out a little bit more, too. You know, for the for the uh, junk turret. Okay, let's put that there, and we'll get another one going. So we always have one. All right, guys, I will uh, bring you back when we're ready to head out, and then we ha we have to figure out a horde night solution. We don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, let's make some more actual make some more arrowheads, because you know what we could do. That's a lot of that's a lot of arrows uh, arrowheads. And I have a full stack of feathers back at the base, so we could actually fight the horde with our crossbow. Maybe that's what we'll do. All right, so uh, what I was thinking we could do is we could do a horde night up on the uh, apartment building because those uh, skylights up there uh, make actually make a nice little... Oh, shit, that scared me. <laughs> uh, make a nice little area that you can I'm talking about that apartment building right there that you can uh, you know put some wood bars over and then um, fight the horde there and we, you know I I doubt we're gonna get cops or anything on you know day seven so it should be relatively safe so we just got to get over there uh, this heavy armor is like totally causing me to run out of stamina a lot quicker too so that's got sucks and Let's see. I think I think we're going to need 12 wood bars. Yeah, see we need more wood. Shit. Okay. Yeah, we got Let's get closer to the apartment building first and then I'm going to have to cut some wood. I'm just trying to think if we could make any kind of a stand at the prison instead. I don't I don't I don't know. We'd have to clear it first. And then we'd have to... I mean, we'd probably be pretty safe up in the towers. It's spider-proof. We'd have a hard time... That's tempting. That is really tempting. Here, let me let me get some wood. We gotta get... Regardless, we gotta get some more wood. Oh, good. Here's some nitrate, too. So we'll have to remember that's there. And some lead right next to it. That's what you need for making bullets. All right, um, this 
doors open? Has that always been open? Or did a zombie break out of there? Here, let's, uh... I can't really tell if there's anyone in there or not. Nope. Okay, so... Here's what we're going to do then. We're going to... We're just going to patch this up. And I know, obviously, the horde's going to break through that really fit quickly, but it's just to keep any sleepers that are out in the yard from getting at us. Um, let's do the same thing here, too. Because this is reinforced concrete, so this this little tower ought to be plenty stout for Horde Knight 7. I would think. I would hope. Uh, let's scrap that. Maybe we could luck out and find some 7.62s in here. Excellent! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, is this better than ours? No, ours is two, two points more damage. Okay. Um... Now, I don't think there's any sleepies up there, but I guess I'm not 100% positive about that. But regardless, this is going to have to go. Yeah, see, that's why I wanted to block that. Put that right there. Okay, I think we can leave that there. All right, come here, dummy. <laughs> I can't get him to come over here. All right, forget about that guy. Oops. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I'm not good. I need to try and hit him in the head as much as possible. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, I want to get rid of this other ladder here. Are there more sleepers in here? No, that's from outside. Okay. All right. So this is relatively secure now. And... Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. What am I talking about? This could be a problem. Can the horde get up that way? Hmm. Didn't think about that. Where's my torches? Come here, dummy. Okay, I'm going to put these two things uh, in there. Well, actually, we should go out there and just look really quick. Because if the horde can get up there, that might not go too well for us. I think those other zombies are down below. see how they could get up here. I mean, a spider might be able to get up here. I suppose, theoretically, they could break into there and then come up the stairs and go around this way. Uh, but I don't think we really have any time to do anything about that. So, 
what we're gonna do is I want to make some wood bars. Let's make like four of those, and then we're gonna we're gonna patch this up here with cobble. But I'm gonna actually leave this open because if the horde does happen to get over here, uh, we could we could fight him, you know, from here. And I've got, you know, I, well, it's not a ton of cobblestone, but I got hopefully enough to keep this repaired uh, if it comes to that. All right, so let's grab these, and I want those to be on face. Now, let's see, how many blocks up is that? That's that's three blocks up. Okay, that should be high enough. I just didn't want something like a freaking biker or something being able to hit us. But they probably won't be able to from here. So we can stand here and just crossbow them. Let's get another uh, torch right there, too, so we'll be able to see okay. Um, copy rotation. I just want to put something here too so I don't accidentally fall down in there. Okay, so this is our killing area here. Almost, I should have probably taken that desk out too, but yeah, it is what it is. And then if they get up here, uh, then we can come and fight them here as well. Now, uh, let's make sure it's actually clear all the way, rest of the way up here. <laughs> that might not be a bad idea, huh? Okay, we're good. Now, if we think we're going to get overrun, I think what we'll do is let's break these. I'm going to I'm going to have to take some coffee so I have the stamina to do this. What we'll do is we'll break these here. Here, let's put this up uh just for some temporary light. And then um I'll nerd pull up here if I have to and then we'll just block this opening with some wood blocks so they can't jump in the gap. Alright, so the plan is if we get overrun, we run up the stairs, jump through there, and we quickly block this off so they can't uh, jump in the hole. And I might, just because I don't want to screw up in the heat of battle, <laughs> Let's put some blocks in here, too, that we can just pull up behind us. It's about as far back as I can get it. So, yeah, we can sledgehammer through here. We just have to make sure we keep that, um, that thing repaired. I wonder if I should make a hammer. I've got... Uh, no, I don't have everything I need. Okay, so we'll just have to use this. So we want that on our toolbar. We don't need this on our toolbar. Um, I don't have any... S I do have a few 762s, but those should probably go in here. Okay. Um, alright, let's get the... S let's put the crossbow in two. Uh, we'll put the spear in three, pistol in four, AK in five. Repair in six. We got one thing of first aid, and we have one painkiller. So, we should probably make a couple of these, too. Oh boy, here it goes. <laughs> Wish me luck, you guys. Wish me luck. I'm expecting him to come down here first. I hope this little tower will hold up for the seventh day horde. I think it will. If it doesn't, <laughs> we're in trouble. So we'll just wait for him to break in here. Yeah? 
Locked, cocked, and ready to rock. We are about a quarter or so of the way into level 7, too, so be nice if we get a level or two tonight. I kind of figured they would have broken in here by now. Not complaining. There we go. Okay. Let's start shooting. Yeah, our junk turret, unfortunately, is not able to reach him too well. Okay, we got our first Horde Knight kill. Come on, you guys. Get your ass in here so I can shoot you. What are you doing? There we go. Well, shoot. You'd think they'd be all in here trying to get at me, but uh, apparently their AI is looking for other ways to get to me. All right, guys. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling, but I mean, I don't know that a whole lot more is gonna happen tonight. I'll be able to take little pot shots at them when they decide to come in here, but otherwise, um, this might be a fairly uneventful horde night. We'll see. So I will bring you back in the morning, um, or if something crazy happens before then. Okay, we just got another kill. And that is the last of the horde. All right, so we killed uh, we killed the horde. It is 1.30 in the morning. And I... I'm almost three quarters of the way to the next level. That was a little tough though because uh, here again they kept they kept coming in and out of here. So, I mean, I probably lost almost as many bolts as I <laughs> as I hit hit, but you know it, it worked out pretty good. All things all things considered, but I'm pretty sure that's it for the horde for the rest of tonight. Um, in retrospect, I got to thinking too. I should have put my land claim block up here. Um, but if we end up doing the Horde Knight here again, uh, we can do that. Now, um, while we're here, there are uh, some safes in that corner of the building. So we might just kind of go over there and take a quick peek and see what's up. Let's take one of these. And let's take one of those. We'll scrap that stuff. Uh, too bad we didn't have an. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna actually save that for the forge. It's too bad we didn't have. I'm trying to think if there's any loot in this tower. I don't think there is. Uh, it's too bad we didn't have a chance to use our junk turret. But it didn't work out that way. All right, so there are sleep, definitely sleepers in here. I'm almost wondering if we shouldn't maybe try and bust through the wall to get in there through there. Hmm. He's probably down below in that. Actually, I guess I'm not sure where... Where that guy would be. Oh, shit! Where'd you come from? No, 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 no! Where the hell did you come from? Son of a... Alright, let's just take the big bandage. 
I wonder if he was a sleeper around the other side and we didn't see him. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's put you down here now. We need to make some more torches. I have no idea where that guy came from, actually. No idea. Maybe he was up there and he... Oh, I bet you he was up there and he jumped down. That's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so we got a dude trying to break through there. So what we could do... Is try and fight him through here. That guy's not irradiated, is he? He. Oh, you know what? I think he is irradiated. Oh, geez. We don't want to fight an irradiated. Is he? I can't tell for sure, but he kind of looks like he is. And this place does have uh, an ir irradiated biker, which would be like the worst thing, worst type of irradiated to fight. <laughs> well, let's let him break through and we'll see what he is. And if he is, I mean, we should have enough time to get away from him. Famous last words, right? If he's not a an irradiated biker, we could try and kill him. But if he's a biker... We're getting the hell out of here. I can't put anything in... Oh, you know what? We can... We can put that there. Come on, man. Break that thing down. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Yeah, that is definitely an irradiated. I just don't know what kind of irradiated. so I don't accidentally fall down in there. <laughs> that would not be good. That would not be good. You know, you're pretty wussy for an irradiated. Well, you're not irradiated. Are you? Um, uh, is he? No, he's not. He might be feral, but he's not irradiated. No, he's just a normal guy. Okay. It's just the, kind of the, the lighting made it look like he potentially was. Okay, let's get this thing out of the way. I want to say there's probably not another sleeper in, nearby because they would have heard the gun gunfire. Let's hope so, because here we go. Uh, once we get down in there, too, uh, we need to be able to get back out quickly. So let's bust this. See, that's making a hell of a lot of noise, too. So I would think if there was something more by, they would have heard it. All right, here we go. Start. I want to make sure that that all of the cells are clear before we go start banging on safes and making a bunch of noise. Uh, we could potentially get toilet pistols too out of the... Uh, here, let's put that there. To move 
really slow because we're in noisy armor right now. All those beds would be a good source of cloth. Okay, so the upper floor is clear. I don't see anything in those cells. Let's block this. Got a washing machine, so a chance for a puffer jacket. Okay. Let's check under the stairs over here. Thanks. And then there's also a back room in here. I'm trying to remember what that is. What's in here? I don't remember. Let's make some noise and see if we can uh, get somebody's attention. Can we set this down here? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a bathroom. Okay. Oh, look at that, though. Oh, oh, yeah. That was a nice find. So now we can make chili dogs and meat stew. And it's morning. So we're just going to have to find... We have plenty of corn in a field nearby, but we'll have to find some potatoes. Oh, that was a nice find. All right, we'll grab that for the moment. All right, let's check these two uh, washing machines here. All right, we'll grab that for now. We'll probably end up selling it. BDU pants. Oh, look at that, guys. Plus four cold resist from what we're wearing now. In fact, we're just st we're still wearing the damn grass pants. That was a nice find. Heck yeah. Okay, let's uh switch those around. I should have put the mod on it before I. Put them on, but that's okay. Excellent. Okay, nice nice little improvement um, for our, our cold protection. I'll take it. We don't need those anymore. So, we still need a good shirt, and we need um, a puffer jacket. I mean, the, the leather duster is not bad. It really isn't, but a puffer jacket is going to be even better. And I'm not positive, but the BDUs might actually be the best... Uh, pants in the game for uh, for heat and stuff. Okay, that's going to be interesting to block. We'll have to block it from here, I guess, if there's anybody in there. Let's find out. Hear footsteps outside. Okay, we've got three safes in here and a weapons bag and a desk and a chair. But if there's a Larry outside, what we're going to do... Is we're going to upgrade this. Where? What am I looking for? Oh, I'm right here. So he can't just waltz right on in here and try and eat us. Because knowing Larry, he probably would try that. A little brass action there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to 
Open all the safes. Unlock all the safes first. And then I will uh, bring you back and show you what's in them. So hopefully I'll be able to get them all unlocked with these 14 lockpicks so I don't have to bang on them. Oh, let's look at the weapons bag first. There's our shotgun and an improved AK with a magazine extender. Wow, that's some nice stuff. That is some really nice stuff. Okay, so we finally have our shotgun. It sucks, but it's a shotgun nonetheless. So let's put that shotgun there. Um, I want to put... Let's compare these two AKs. Make sure... The orange one is, in fact, better. It is by one point. One less magazine size, uh, uh, size, and a little bit slower, but that's that's okay. We can live with that. Um, and then let's see. This we should. Can we put that on a shotgun? No, not a double barrel. <laughs> uh, we can put it on here. There we go. Nice. All right, safes are open. Let's look at the big one first. Oh, uh, all right. Let's check this one. There we go. There we go. And finally this one. Ooh, nice sledgehammer improvement. Um, That has a stamina cost of 20. Here, let's see. Is this... I know I'm a little scatterbrained, huh? That does 24 damage. That does 25. So that... We're just going to scrap a doodle. All right, so this sledgehammer, let's see how it compares to this one. Keeping in mind that this one does not use nowhere near the amount of stamina this one will will require. However, this one will have two mod slots. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a significant it's almost double the damage of the stone hammer. Um and almost double the stamina cost though, too, but uh, it's kind of an even trade-off because we're gonna almost do double the damage. Plus, we can put another mod in here. So I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna go with this. I think we, I think we will. Let's um, put the burning shaft mod on there, and then we can find something else to stick in there later. Excellent. So those were some nice improvements. All right, guys. Well, we're out of time. In fact, we've gone way over. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some major editing on this video. I think. Uh, but that was a good horde night. And uh, we got some nice loot uh, at the end of it here in the prison. I might go through and just check all these toilets and harvest all these beds, but I'll do that off camera. So um, I'm going to go back home, uh, get stuff situated, go back to the trader, sell a few things. Um, and then in the next episode, we will start our next uh, job, which is this tier one fetch. Um, We'll do this at some point, but we're probably not going to do that one in the next episode. Okay. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.